Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. My name is Lucy, I am a mum of two boys. I upload three times a week, minimum, and extra bonus videos, such as this one. This is a bonus video because it's outside my schedule, but I love to upload. I'm a bit obsessed with it, so as soon as an idea comes into my head, I need to film it and I have to upload it, so here we are. And welcome to my IKEA furniture guide, mainly featuring the male furniture, but also featuring my other IKEA furniture as well. I have a lot of it, most of it is white. All of it is white actually. Bit obsessed with white IKEA furniture. So I thought I'd give you guys a little guide. I get so many questions about my IKEA furniture. What type is it, how much was it, etc, etc. Um, the drawers deep, anything like that. So I'm gonna give you guys the ultimate guide in this video, so you can maybe get some yourself or give you a better idea of what you might want and what you don't want. If you want to see a guide to my IKEA furniture, then keep watching. Let's start off with the IKEA Malm dressing table, the most amazing IKEA product. I've got it up on my phone here and it's 80 pounds. I just wanna include prices in case you're thinking about getting it. So yes, 80 pounds and it's amazing. I guess I should just stop talking about it and show you it. So here it is here, I've got a stool which I will move out of the way. I've got my beautiful mirror on top of it and it's like a perfect match. So I know everyone wants to see inside the drawer. Excuse the mess. Here it is. So it's very deep. It fits loads in as you can see. It needs a very good sort and organization which is a job to add to my list. But yeah, so here it is. The drawers are very deep. Uh, they go all the way back here. So yeah, really deep, fits so much in. Would probably fit your whole makeup collection in if you weren't such a makeup hoarder like me. But yeah, it's it's just brilliant. I absolutely love it. And it fits this chair perfectly underneath. So there is the Malm dresser. I am gonna now move on to the lac shelves. So this is actually a shelving unit. The lac shelves, there's so many different lac shelves as you probably know, like so many different. I have the normal lac shelves as well, which I'll show you guys as well in my other room. And they are brilliant, they are so cheap, like dirt cheap. I can't remember how much this is here. It's just like the perfect unit for anywhere really, for any room, just to give it a bit of life. Let me find out how much it is. Ikea lac shelving unit. Let's have a look at the lac stuff. Don't know if they still have it. I love all the lac products, here we go. 50 pounds, so it's 50 pounds for this shelf. And as you can see, it has so much storage, you can fit so much on it. There's the top. And then all the way down to the bottom. So it just gives a perfect storage, basically. Not really much more to say on that. Need to bend down a bit to fit in. In this corner of the room, I have the IKEA chest of drawers, the four drawers. So there's four drawers going all the way down. Let me show you. Four drawers, they are all full to the brim with stuff. They are so deep and such brilliant drawers. If I can open them, yeah, they're just full, absolutely full, and I love them. They are really deep, just shut them up. They are really deep and just perfect, basically. I've, I've got them all throughout my house. So I've got those there, then I have the double lower set in my son's bedroom, which I'm gonna show you guys as well. So I highly recommend the Malm drawers. They come in all different colors as well. I often think black would look really good in the house, but I've gone for all white, but maybe I might add a bit of black somewhere sometime. I don't know, we'll see. So these drawers here, drawers storage unit kind of thing, are the Alex Nine Drawers storage unit. It is £95. It is a more expensive IKEA product. It fits so much in and I absolutely love it. And it's just a perfect addition to any kind of like vanity area. It just fits so much in. It has all my hair dryers in. All my hair dryers, I've got one hair dryer, not all my hair dryers. All my hair products, I meant to say. Um, hair curlers, etc., etc., all in there. So I'm going to show you it all the way down. So it has some bigger drawers down here at the bottom so it goes smaller to bigger and the bigger ones really fit so much in i mean there's so much room in this drawer that i could put more stuff but yeah as you can see they just fit so much in these drawers here are the ikea cullen chest of drawers they are like a smaller version of the mound chest of drawers so the mound chest of drawers are 50 pounds and probably yeah, probably double the size, you can fit double the amount of stuff in. But these Cullen drawers are perfect for areas like this where you don't have loads of space, but you want something there. I have 
the double one of this in my bedroom because it was a very small area to fit something in. So I have the Cullen. They are a lot cheaper. This um, chest of drawers here is only 25 quid, so very cheap. And it does fit a lot in as well, so very good value for money. So if you don't have loads of space, but you still like the white Ikea look, they come in all different colours as well, then go for the Cullen because they're a lot smaller, but you can still fit a lot of stuff in. So yeah, I really like the Cullen drawers. Here we have my trusty white Ikea mirror. I absolutely love it. It is the Nissedal, N-I-S-S-E-D-A-L, the Nissedal mirror. Comes in all different colors as well, but I've got the white one, obviously. It's floor length. I have mine just resting on the floor. I have that there because I like to move it around. You could just put it in one place, but I like to move mine around, so yeah. That is my white Ikea mirror. I absolutely love it again. An absolute essential. I always tell my friends like you need the white Ikea mirror in your house. It's so good, so reasonable. It's 40 pounds, so not too bad for a big floor length mirror, I don't think. Moving into my son's bedroom now. He also has the mound furniture in here. This is the mound dressing, dressing. The mound bedside table. Three massive drawers with loads of space. There's his pyjama drawer, not perfectly Marie Kondo folded, I'm afraid, anymore. But yeah, there is his drawer. It fits so much in. I put these little um, things in as well. They're really good. They're the scup, I want to say. Storage things. You can get them in like a set. And they go perfectly in any of the IKEA furniture. I have them in all of my IKEA chests of drawers and drawers. So I absolutely love those. I love this bedside table. It looks so nice, so classic and it's very reasonably priced. So this set of three drawers is only 35 pounds. Perfect for a child's bedroom. I know someone said to me once, oh, I've only got the kids Ikea furniture for my child's bedroom, but you should really consider getting the adult stuff because it's gonna last you such a long time and they'll grow into it as well. I always get the adults Ikea furniture for my children's bedroom. It looks just as nice, if not better in my opinion, and will just last like for a very long time. So it's a no brainer really. This is my son's double Malm chest of drawer unit. It has Jensen and Jesse's clothes in actually both of these and a few more in the double Cullen unit I have over there. So I've got a double Cullen unit over there, let me show you. So there is a double Cullen unit. That's like my kind of built-in wardrobe in my son's bedroom. I've got a video on that, on how to do it. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, so please ignore it. I need to sort the shelves out. But I've got a video on that, how to build um, an Ikea open kind of wardrobe tutorial and it's so funny I went around my sister's the other day and she's done it and I was like oh have you been watching my video she was like yeah I definitely watched your video for that one I absolutely love it so I will link that video below so here is the double Malm drawers they are absolutely brilliant they are so spacious you can fit so much in there yeah as you can see you really can I have all of these in there as well just so you can partition everything off Brilliant, I think they're 90 pounds for um, for the double, and I think the Cullen is, I wanna say 60 to 70 pounds, so a little bit of a price difference. You obviously get way more room in the Malm, but they're a lot bigger, so if your space is compromised, go for the Cullen. On top of the Malm units, you can buy gloss finish. Um, I have these on most of my Malm units because I love the look of it. You can get different types. I always go for the white gloss finish on the top. I think it's about £30, I want to say, maybe a little bit more, for the one on the top. Go and check out the IKEA website. I'm going to be really good actually. I'm going to leave everything in the description box so you can go and see if you want to double check the price. Go and look online. You can get them to match the different units, so they're really good. They give a really nice finish to a bedroom, a more expensive kind of look, so I really like having those on top of all of my mount units. This lovely unit here is probably the one that I get the most questions on yeah probably over the mound dresser actually so I lied when I said it was a mound dresser it's actually this one I get the most questions about this dresser right here it's actually a shoe storage cabinet that is what Ikea sell it as it's a Hemnes shoe storage cabinet it is online when you look they, I think they show up the black one first so it's a bit confusing but they do do it in white I will link it below it's £65 and I don't use it as a shoe storage cabinet. I didn't even know it was a shoe storage cabinet when I brought it. It was only when people started commenting on my photo saying, is that the shoe storage cabinet? And I'm like, um, yeah, maybe it is. I keep paperwork and all kinds of other bits and bobs in there. 
not shoes. I probably could keep shoes in there, but I don't. The drawers are big. That's how it opens there. So it probably is best to put shoes in there, but I just didn't know, and now I'm used to it being a non-shoe storage unit. I also changed the handles as well because they come as black, but I changed it to diamond handles, not real diamond, obviously. Crystal effect handles. I got them from HomeSense and they were super easy to change. Jordan managed to do it. He's not the best at DIY, so really not a hard job. Jesse has woken up just in time to let me show you the Mal dresser in his bedroom. Dresser unit, don't know what you want to call it. Oh, you're touching it too. This unit here, thank you, Jesse. This unit here is £95 and it is floor length, a bit like the Alex unit, but it's a Malm style. And it also has this little feature right here. Oh, no scissors, Jesse. He obviously can't reach this unit normally. It's got a mirror in, so that's really cool. We love that kind of, we love the fact it had a mirror in. We thought that was really cool. So yeah, love that unit. Love the mirror feature. Space wise, it's extremely spacious. We haven't even used this top drawer. We have so much storage with the Ikea um, Malm units and everything else. We literally have empty drawers, so I could really make better use of this storage, which I'm gonna do. So yeah, blanket in there. I need to get rid of some blankets now. He's a toddler now, so I don't need all these blankets I've hoarded. But as you can see, it then goes down to bigger drawers. So yeah, love that unit, that is brilliant. As soon as me and Jordan saw it, we were like, oh, we need that. So yeah, we got it, didn't we, Jesse? Yeah, oh, you dropped it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you on my channel and I'll see you in the next video.